Hello and welcome. We're going to start each of our sessions with a mantra and finish with a manifestation. And this is thanks to Roxy Nafusi. So the mantra for this week, going into next week, is I release all feelings of regret. So I release all feelings of regret. It's a great one. Another great one for January as well, a fresh start to the year. So I release all feelings of regret. Right, thank you for joining me today. We're going to do lunges and squats. We're going to do six variations. So it's going to be really good for your chushi, good for your thighs and good for your core. Let's go. We're going to start with lunges and we're going to do um, forward lunges and then backward lunges. So I'd like you to stand with your feet hip width apart, shoulders rolled and down and imagine a gold thread pulling you up, 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 nice and tall. I'd like you to engage your core and engage your pelvic floor by drawing up. Important for both men and women. For men, if you don't want to have to go to the toilet in the middle of the night as you get older, good to engage that pelvic floor. Okay, when you're ready, we're gonna take a deep inhale and expand that rib cage. So imagine the rib cage coming out like an umbrella. And again, excellent. So I want you to breathe in as we go into our forward lunge and then breathe out as we come back up into standing. Here we go. Alternate leg. You can put your hands on your hips if you like. And what you're aiming for is a nice right angle behind that knee that's bent. And we're doing this in a slow and controlled manner. Speed is not the object of this exercise. Control, focus, making sure you're engaging that core and breathing. And so think of it as step. Step out, lunge down, back up, back to standing. Step out, lunge down, back up, back to standing. <sighs> Breathing the whole time, engaging your core, engaging your pelvic floor, nice and tall. Okay, one more on the other side. Excellent job. And now we're going to go to the backwards lunges and we're going to introduce a knee raise. So I'm just going to come forward so we have enough room behind me. So this time we're going to go back into that lunge, up, and as we come forward we're going to draw the knee up and then alter alternate your leg. Up. Back. Down. Up. Back. Down. Up. Back. Down down, up, back, down and 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 up. Good job. And we're releasing all our regrets as we go. That's our mantra for this week. So as you go through the week, think, are you holding on to any regrets? Release them, let go, and have a fresh year ahead. Okay, one more on each side. Excellent job. Now I'm gonna go into our squats. I'd like to start with a normal squat. So feet hip width apart. I'm gonna take a deep inhale. Use my arms for this inhale. So for this squat, there's a basic squat, so feet hip width apart, your knees stacked on top of your ankles, your hips stacked on top of your knees, shoulders back and round, deep inhale, expand that rib cage, and you're standing really nice and tall. You're engaging your core to that 20 to 30%, so imagine pulling your belly button to your spine, and you're engaging your pelvic floor to 20 to 30%. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in as we come down into our squat and then breathe out and draw up and engage that pelvic floor more as you come up. So relax on the way down, engage the pelvic floor on the way up. So. One. Relax. Engage the pelvic floor. So we're relaxing the pelvic floor on the way down. We're engaging the pelvic floor on the way up. Relaxing your pelvic floor is just as important as being able to tighten your pelvic floor or you know, hold on, draw up your pelvic floor because you're not wanting to have tight muscles all the time and tight pelvic floor all the time. That would lead to pain and it would lead to a lack of control. So I'm just gonna take a step back to make sure I'm still in the frame. By the way, thank you for your feedback. Some of feedback, some of the left a comment said, I really need to work on creating a bit more room in my screen. So I've tried to do that this time. So hopefully you've got more of me. And I think that's a really good piece of feedback. So well done. Okay, so we're going down and breathe out and draw on your pelvic floor. I find it difficult to do the breathing correctly while I'm filming because I'm talking at the same time. In terms of your weight, your weight should be balanced across your feet. But what I do to make sure I am doing that is I actually imagine the weight in my heels and I raise my toes for a moment just to make sure the weight's in the heels. The reason I do that is otherwise, as you come forward, it could be easy to put your weight forward. So if I just make sure I'm lifting my toes to make sure that weight is in my heels, then it just makes sure, it then, then, then I balance the weight and then just, okay, because it's important to not put all the weight in the toes unless you're specifically gonna do an exercise for that, which we are going to do after this. Last one, okay. Good job, well done. Now we're going to go into large wide squats. So we're gonna come out, like I'm just gonna do a demonstration. This leg will be straight, this knee is bent, the bent knee is coming forward, the bent knee is not going out to the side, the feet are still facing forward. So if the feet are facing forward, knees facing forward, we're just gonna do 10 of these, and I'm gonna start breathing with it, so breathe with me. You get a nice little stretch in the inner thigh here as well. And the bottom should be going to the back of the room. Bottom out to the back of the room. This is our third one. So back to the centre, we're halfway through. Stay with me, okay. Continuing with squats throughout. <laughs> so next we're going to do some to the side. Now next week we're gonna um, elevate this to do it with bands. Right, so feet hip width apart, down we come. And as we come out, I want you to kick out to the side. And we're going to alternate legs. And you'll see that my feet are in dorsiflexi, so that's naughty toes, for those of you who did ballet, or it's, imagine sort of toes towards the shin, or just flat foot. <laughs> and this is important because, tr try it, try it both ways, try the pointy toe, which is also a good exercise, but you're doing something different with the pointy toe. So it's important to recognize when you're doing something different. The reason I'm doing it with dorsiflexi, so that flat foot, is because if you have any tension in your heel or in your foot, having exercises where you're using dorsiflexi can help strengthen that area and can help release that tension. I do get tension in my left ankle, in my left heel from my running days. And if I'm barefoot all the time, then I don't, um, I don't have the right support and I can get that tension. So I do these exercises, but I also do some exercises that are isolated for that heel and for that foot, um, which I can do a video on that if you like. 
but it's kind of boring. It's, <laughs> it's often on the stairs when you're just lifting your ankle up and down the stairs. But I will do it because it's important. And you can do some on the chair as well. Okay, last one each side. We're going into skiing, which is our penultimate exercise. It's actually ski season, so some of you might be off skiing. Nice deep inhale, I'm going to do one more. Here we go into skiing. So normal squat, bottom down. And as you come up, you're going to have your foot dorsiflexy still. So that's toes towards the shins, but you're pushing it out as though you're skiing. And you really want to feel it in your, your bottom there. So it's really good for turning those butt sheets. Sorry, I lifted up then, I shouldn't have done. It's because I focus, right? <laughs> you need to really be focused to do these correctly. We're engaging that core, relaxing the pelvic floor on the way down and drawing it up on the way up. Okay, really good job. Oopsie, sorry, lost my balance. See, I need to focus. <laughs> really good job here. Don't worry if you lose your balance now and again, or if you're struggling with this because of balance, then I invite you to stand near a chair or table and be doing it like this, just to make sure you're with the, with the balance. Okay, one more each side, and we're on to our very last one now, which as you can see, I am out of breath, so I'm <laughs> glad it's our last one. And what we're going to do, I mentioned at the start, we're gonna come onto our toes, and we're gonna introduce the arms. So, nice deep breath with your arms here. And another. Okay, we're going to go into a squat as though it's a normal squat. And then as we come up, we're gonna push our arms back and come onto our toes. And then we're going to introduce, actually, sorry, I'm gonna do the arms the other way around. So up on toes, push down arms behind. Up on toes, push down arms behind. Up on toes, push down arms behind. Nice breathing here. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Relax the pelvic floor on the way down, engage and draw up the pelvic floor on the way up. Engage the core to 20 to 30% throughout. Lateral thoracic breathing to expand that rib cage. Two more. Well done. Fantastic job. Well, I hope you got a little spit sound like me. So we're going to close with a manifestation. So again, these are Haroxy Nafusis. I love them. Manifestation for the week coming up. Stop ignoring red flags, gut feelings, and warning signs. Okay, that's a good one. Red flags. Gut feelings and warning signs. Really important to trust your gut. It's our sixth sense. We know it. Women's intuition, men's intuition too. <laughs> so enjoy that. Have an amazing week ahead. Feel revitalized, lighter and stronger. And comments, suggestions, recommendations, really welcomed. So thank you so much. Looking forward to continuing to work with you throughout the year. Have a wonderful week.